We meant to bring you this story last week, but when a flu-like bug swept through the Twilight team, we were all just a little too ill to get the show on the air, and that includes me and Kristen. I know you sucked down about as much chicken soup as I did, but Halloween is just too much fun not to include this story on this week's show. Well, you know, not only had I already shot this story, but it is one of my favorite holidays. And just like ghosts and goblins and witches, this familiar face goes hand in hand with Halloween. But few people know that the legend of jack-o'-lantern didn't begin with the bright orange pumpkins we know so well today. The legend of the jack-o'-lantern goes back to the 19th century in Ireland, where a drunk, mischievous man named Stingy Jack played tricks on people. But one day, Jack fooled the wrong guy. After making one too many bad deals with the devil, Jack was barred from both heaven and hell. With nowhere to go, the devil sent him to wander the darkness between heaven and hell with only a hot burning coal to light his way. So Jack put the flame inside a carved turnip to protect his hands and keep the fire burning. From that day on, Stingy Jack roamed the earth without a resting place and became known as the Jack of the Lantern or the Jack-o'-Lantern. The old folklore led people to recreate Jack's lantern with turnips and eventually pumpkins because of their size. They lit the gourds with candles and placed them on windows and porches to ward off ghosts and evil spirits. To this day, the spooky holiday just wouldn't be the same without old Jack. And here's another little known fact about the pumpkin. 19th century New Englanders believed pumpkins were a magical cure-all for snake bites, facial wrinkles, and even freckles. Well, moving on to our Twilight Trivia. Last time I asked you about how many seeds are inside the average pumpkin, and the answer is B, 500. For this week's question, which U.S. city is the number one place for trick-or-treating? Is it A, Seattle, B, San Francisco, or C, Dallas? If you think you know the answer, we'll just head on over to our website, twilighttv.org. Choose the correct answer, and we'll send one winner a Twilight gift pack with some fall goodies you can even enjoy after Halloween. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture. I'm Neil Malasson. Coming up, could expiring tax exemptions lead us right off the fiscal cliff? Find out on the bottom line coming up.